Hey there, it's Mike Munzel. I'm the author of Belly Fat Effect, and in this quick video, I'm going to share with you a tip about how to improve your digestion, gut health, improve your mental performance, burn fat better, reduce inflammatory response, overcome food, alcohol, sex addictions, you know, drug addictions, uh, even overcome things like anxiety, depression, and, and poor emotional control. This device that I'm holding right here will help you do that. This is a free device. All it does is measure the beat to beat variability between your heartbeats or your autonomic nervous system called a parasympathetic branch. It's called heart math. You can learn more about it or even purchase this $99 device at learnheartmath.com. But before you do, let me tell you a little bit about this. This device measures your stress response. And we know that you, know, you have that sympathetic drive, you know, when you're, before you give a presentation, when you're stuck in traffic or when you're you know, mad at your spouse or your boss or something in your life isn't going right, when you're really stressed out, that means that the other part of your autonomic nervous system, the beneficial side, the parasympathetic, that rest, digest, and procreate side is not being activated. And when that's not activated, your gut's not activated. You know, your GI tract is not getting the motility and the blood flow and the neurologic energy. Um, you're more inflamed, you know, and you're more uh, on edge and so forth. And so we can actually train our body to be in a more parasympathetic dominant state. You know, so many people right now are pressured under deadlines, drinking coffee, you know, stressed out from uh, our commutes and financial pressures and social pressures and so forth. So we need constant reinforcement to retrain our body's autonomic nervous system to be in this parasympathetic, calm, mindful, present state. And heart rate variability biofeedback is the best way to do it. So what you want to do is turn on your smartphone when you start your day or when you end your day. You don't want to check your email, log into Facebook, uh, get on Instagram or Twitter and do all that. What you want to do is turn on your smartphone, get on Pandora, and go to the yoga channel. And I'm going to put this down here so you can hear this. This is going to help you get into that calm state. And you hook this little device up to your ear though. It might be a little loud for you. Uh, I like it a little loud, but I found that sound actually helps to facilitate this and get this going quicker. So, I, again, I get this device at Learn learnheartmath.com you can get one that hooks up to your iPhone I've had this for quite some time they didn't have the iPhone adapter when I first got this but I put it on level 2 or level 3 and think about some uh, a, a mantra that I think about and so you can think about things like I am smart and charismatic and outgoing or just something that brings some sort of positivity to your life uh, you can also envision your child your children or your child or your spouse or your pet and close your eyes and just get into that calm place and you're kind of meditating but you're really focusing on your breath and what you want to do is at most six breaths per minute okay so you know you can do I like to do a cycle of 16 so I would inhale for four so hold for four four seconds that is exhale for four seconds pause for four seconds and repeat so that's gonna be about four breaths per minute. And the studies show that at most six breaths per minute is what's needed to activate this parasympathetic division of our nervous system and that vagal nerve. Again, when you turn on the vagal nerve, you turn on your gut, you suppress inflammation, you pivot your body into a fat burning machine. So as you can see here, just I'm not actively trying, I'm trying to make the video and show this to you, but just by the music and my breath, I'm getting into a more calm state. This is really powerful stuff. And so you can bring this in your car with you, on the road, on an airplane. You can do it anytime before you give a presentation. I frequently do webinars and podcasts and interviews. I always do 10 minutes because I want to be present. I want to be mindful when I'm speaking to you and to guests. So the best thing to do is to implement this, as I said, 10 minutes twice a day. First thing in the morning, you know, and as John Duyard, Ayurvedic practitioner, has taught me that water is calm in the morning and in the evening. So that's when your mind should be calm too. We want to, you know, optimize our biological rhythms with the rhythms of nature. And so I would highly encourage getting into this habit. All you need is 20 minutes a day. That's it. That's not much, again, to overcome cravings and depression and anxiety and, and combat heart disease and all these chronic diseases. 20 minutes a day, I think you can do that. And it's after this $99 investment, it's free. All you do is train your breath and your mind. 
So I would highly encourage you to do that. Again, go to learnheartmath.com. As you can see here, I'm starting to get into a more parasympathetic state. This green light is what you want. That means that my heart rate variability is increasing. Again, increased heart rate variability is inversely linked with pretty much every chronic disease you can think of, from cancer, autoimmunity, depression, heart disease, even obesity. The more fat you have, the lower your heart rate variability is. So you can actually learn, uh, lose fat better by improving your autonomic nervous system and calming down. So this is a great free thing that, you know, once you master your breath, you don't need the, the device. I use it anyway, just because I like it. You can plug it into your computer and kind of see where things are going. And I've even experimented with this and checked my email and got on Twitter and Facebook first thing in the morning. And then I did this and then I would track that for a few days and I would do that routine just to see what it did to my stress response, to my parasympathetic nervous system. And I would compare that to days when I just came up into this room that you're seeing right here with my yoga mat, my green tea, you know, that's what I drink in the morning. And it's night and day the difference, you know. And so if you're one of these people that are just hooked to your phone, I would definitely suggest you, you turn it on. If you turn it on in the morning, the only thing you should be turning on is Pandora to put on the yoga station so that you can start your day right and zen out and get in that present state. So I really hope you enjoy this video. Write any comments or any questions. You know, I'm learning and growing just like you are probably. So again, you can get this device, this heart math device at learnheartmath.com. Hope you enjoy.